Okay, here's another process that I created in uh, drawing number, drawing name, scaling, and revisions. Okay, and so this one revision is the actual Revit internal parameter revision, revision date, revision descriptions, which is I uh, updated already here. Okay. And this one is my custom uh, parameters, and the, the scaling also is custom. So what I mean is that, for example, in this floor plan, um, 400 roof floor, uh, the scale is 1 is to 125, 1 is to 150, and 1 is to, not to scale. So I will go here, 400, I think that's wrong, it should be. So in here, Z, Z, so in here, as indicated, so we can change this one, oops, scale, and we can change also the text here, should be this one, should be, okay, so that's the scaling. So that's another uh, process for the scale. So close this one and then go back here. Okay, nice. Okay, now we're ready to um, update this um, drawing in here drawing revisions so to do that in Revit so the, the first process is we have this uh, formula first before we actually change the Revit revision so in this in this schedule in the master list I will ask the engineers or the modeler to check the revision first and check the tick box for all the uh, revisions that you want to change okay so our let's say I want to check for the legends so anyway electrical up to 10 I have to check this one revision one so 10 or we can change this You can do it here it's a little slower but you see that this will update here in the actual uh, cover page okay this drawing this this is this one it will update here so I will not show you but once I check this tick box so to, to do it faster you open the, the roots applications it's easier in the roots to manage all those tick box so the roots check sheet generator this one and then you check here sheet this okay and you have already here the uh, okay wait uh, sheet generator so you have already here all the tick box is faster here in the roots app oh, okay wait okay so let's say 1 to 10 1 0 to 10 I want it this one yes and then 11 to 11 to up to 209 I want also this one in here or to here okay so it's not yet updating but once I check the execute 
So for the remaining 300 up to here, I want to check this one. Yes. And then this one. Yes. So when I press execute, it will all populate here. It will update this one. Okay. So there you go. Uh, okay. The revision for is not showing. So we can add additional uh, revision for that one. So for now, okay, I can minimize this one. So for the revision for, it's not showing here. So we need to add additional. So we go to the properties of the schedule. Revision for formatting. Release for it's shown uh, this one. Text this one is what's this field text three. It's okay. We can copy this one and create another text formula. And okay, select this one. Copy. Ah, sorry. Copy here. Text quantity four and revision D. P A revision D. Text and then release. Release. Text. Oh, no space. Press OK and then just put this up. Up to here, okay, and then press OK. So it's now in here, release 4. And this one, you have to update this one. Sheet schedule, so this one should be okay. Copy. And group first. Then you select again this one and then you group this here revision and then this one should be D. Okay. So I'll we'll drag that here another side so in the drawing. So this one you have to update also this one. Edit schedule. So in here. So I Uh, because that one is, you have to update again this one because that's, that's the master disk and this is the electrical drawing disk. So again, go here, uh, edit this one, copy, close, formula, this, text, and then release. Because this is just a formula. X four. This four, and then this is D. Then push up, push up, push. Okay. So okay. In here again. Copy similar procedure. And group. And then you group again. Type revision and then this one is D. So when I close it, it's in here now. So, so I'm showing you the two. This one is filtered with hidden column and this is the master. The master disk. Okay. So going back. So you have now set all the uh, tick box. What's my time? Okay, I have more time. So you check already the tick, tick box here the, in this area, in the schedule. Yes, no, yes, no. And now you have to uh, update the real revisions. So going back to the, the roots. 
here in the revision okay so let's just check 1 to 10 will be just revision 1 okay it will update an 11 to 209 it be two revisions uh, one and two correct and in the last sheets will be three and four okay so I will just hide it here once I press this uh, execute the real revision here will appear also. So let's check. So it's a dual uh, process, but it's a win-win solution also. So I will close this one to appear. This one is the date of the review is date this will be the revision a b c or one two three so this is a one of the customized process on showing all those dates below and with, with dash also so i guess i have to delete this one because this is the just what we need okay so see it's much better and yeah we are using it here in our in this uh, current standard for submission into the authority with this format so i hope it, uh, it is useful and helpful okay uh, i think that's it So, what else? So, yeah.